Welcome, everyone, and thank you for coming back to the channel, Deb Chanel's 48th World, where we do commentary on reviews on any subject, anything, doesn't matter, okay, any subject matter. But we're going to be talking about my new segment, Hot Topics, trending hot topics out there on social media. Everybody's talking about it on Instagram, Facebook, um, YouTube, Twitter. It's just out there, okay? So why don't we talk about it? And we're going to tell you what all the buzz is about and who is on. We're talking about no, none other than Andy Cohen's and his Watch What Happens Live and Chrissy Teigen. Or Chrissy Teigen. Yeah, John Legend's wife. You get it now? Okay, she used to be some supermodel back in the day, whatnot. Now she's just pretty much going around having babies and being a housewife. Which there's nothing wrong with that when you're married to a man like John Legend that can serenade you and get you pregnant in 10 flat seconds. Okay, well, let's get on to what Too Fab has brought out. And it's, so, it's other social media's um, commentary columnists out there that are talking to. But I chose to see what TooFab.com was talking about. Okay, the headline they give us is Chrissy Teigen was banned from Watch what happens live for two years after getting blacked out drunk during first well during first appearance. Okay, and it's just uh, written by a two fab staff member. They didn't want to give them no shine by giving it a name, so it is what it is. It was brought out on June twenty eighth, which is today. Okay, at eight seventeen a.m. Don't know what time zone, but I'm in Eastern Standard Time Zone, so we're gonna go with it. All right. Now we want to know who placed the ban on Miss Christy Teigen from going to watch what happens live Clubhouse Mazel or Mazel, Mazel, whatever. Clubhouse where Andrew Cohen resides at Bravo TV or on Bravo TV. Christy go on to tell us, hell, it was my publicist. <laughs> I don't know where public publicists get out on banning you to go to certain topics of a conversation to certain affiliates where you can get paid. But I guess she said, uh-uh, I need you to be sparkling clean and you ain't going up there and show your behind at no Andy, Andy Cohen show. Watch what happened live because you just acted up last time and you don't need to be seen in that light. So she, her publisher told her, no way, no way you're going into any other events with Andy Cohen where he openly turns up the bar and y'all just get to drinking and having a whole lot of fun and don't even know how you present yourself on TV. She said, uh -uh, I need my money and you are my money maker right now. So no, you're banned. <laughs> but let's get on into the commentary what they wrote up on her. It says, Bravo, uh, excuse me, Bravo, super fan Chrissy Teigen stopped by Watch What Happens Live with Andy Cohen on Thursday night. Okay, this past Thursday. So I think, guess that was the 27th. All right. Uh, to celebrate the late night show's 10-year anniversary. And in taking a trip down memory lane, the supermodel dropped quite the bombshell. She goes on to say, you know, I wasn't allowed to do this show for two years after the first time I did it because I got so blacked out drunk. She told Andy after the two watched the real of the booziest moments of the show's 10 year history. When Cohen asked who placed the band, Krista shouted, Marissa, my publicist. He did smile and say, oh, my God, thank you, Marissa, for letting her do it now. <laughs> I'm like, uh-uh. Then in 2017, after just having attended a wellness retreat in Bali with husband John Legend, Chrissy opens up about her struggles with alcohol at the time. She was looking to hit the reset button on her health, especially because she was getting ready to do something super hard, which is the IVF process all over again. Their daughter, Luna, was 16 months. I was point blank just drinking too much, the 33-year-old cookbook extraordinaire told Cosmopolitan in August of that year. I got used to being in hair and makeup and having a glass of wine. Then that glass of wine would carry over into me having one before the award show and then a brunch at the af af oh, excuse me, and then a brunch at the award show. 
And then I felt bad for making it kind of an ass of myself to people that I really respected. And that feeling, there's just nothing like it. You feel horrible. It's not a good look for me, for John, for anybody. Tegan, who's been a spokesperson for Captain Morgan and Smirnoff, said, Imagine everything we have. Everything is there always. I don't know how to go to an award show and not drink. The mother of two explained she had a history of alcohol abuse in her family and that she was the type of person who can't just have one drink. At the time, she was taking a number of medications for postpartum depression and anxiety, noting alcohol is like the least thing that helps. She begins to worry about where she was headed. Nobody really brought it up to me, Chrissy said. They just assumed that it was okay because I always felt okay in the morning or the next morning. I knew in my heart it wasn't right. It makes you very short with people. People think it's uh, cutesy. And fun to go on these boozy brunches, but there's more to it. I've never once been light, and I'm sure glad I had that boozy brunch. When in Bali, Chrissy abstained from alcohol entirely and said the experience was really, really wonderful. I would wake up feeling amazing. My skin felt amazing. I was just so happy. I used to think it was kind of nutty to have it, well, to have to go totally sober, she said, or she added. But now I get it. I don't want to be that person. I have to fix myself. In April 2013, Tegan publicly announced that she'll be taking a month-long break from alcohol, tweeting, I feel like if I say this publicly, the chances of me succeeding will rise. I am going sober first for a month, then taking it from there. Okay? So that's kind of like a good feel story that's trending on social media today. And it brought out that she, meaning Chrissy Teigen, was aware that she was taking drinking to the next level, to alcoholism. You know, it's like if she was just drinking for the heck of it, if she felt if any time she had to engage in socializing with other people and, you know, doing her day-to-day uh, publicity, media, social media uh, attendance where she has to go and meet this person, greet this person, sign this, you know, just whatever she has to do to promote herself continuously so she'll be relevant for the future. And any new um, things are coming up with her personal life, especially being married to John Legend, the musician and stuff. You know, she's out there and she's being critiqued by everyone, you know. So she has to be looked at under a microscope, they're going to be looking, seeing what she's doing, how she's doing it, where she's doing it, and should she be doing it. <laughs> Again, that's the entertainment life. That's the life you live when you want that type of thing. And, of course, her claim to fame was she was a very nice, um, striking model. And she still has her great features, facial features and body features about herself. They're still wonderful looking. And she seems to be refreshed, but it seems like she's just want to be a family person now. She she really don't want to be known for, I guess, her, um, what do you call it, swimsuit issues or modeling days. You know, um, she definitely got the talent still, definitely got the body. But she just wants to be, like, in her family mode life. She just want to breathe life, uh, have it instilled in her children, and just be a wonderful entity of a human being out there. So she said, I got to cut out all this alcohol. And she probably was drinking something 100 proof. <laughs> she was drinking like me, my baby Seagram's, and I think I'm cool. You know what I'm saying? But it just is what it is. But Andy was like, I paid more than that. I paid more than yo getting drunk and all this, that, that. I'm sorry, baby, but then I'm not sorry. <laughs> you should know how to hold your liquor. But that's just my pun intended. My commentary that had nothing to do with um, Two Fabs <laughs> article that they wrote up on Miss Chrissy Teigen. Okay, slash legend. All right. But that's all I had on it. I thought it was just, you know, kind of humorous, but kind of like giving us a little something to think about when we are partaking of the alcohol and we're changing our demeanor when we're actually um, partaking of drinking whatever type of al alcoholic beverage, you know, we're uh, 
consuming. So if it does change your demeanor for the worse, yeah, you need to pull back or fall back all together on, you know, dipping and dabbing with the alcohol and just live your life. Try something else, you know, some non-alcoholic beverage or something that's just two or three or four percent, such as what Sigrams uh, give me. OK, so not endorsing them for trying to say everybody need to go buy it or whatnot. But I'm just saying it's a, a quality drink for me. Low alcohol. Uh, and it doesn't take me out my menu, but then I do, do have, uh, some taste for some Moscato here and there that is kind of like, you know, 30, 40% proof, but you know, I don't, I seldomly drink that type of drink, but, um, uh, I like having my coolest here on the weekend, you know, just to relax and, you know, chill and, and just spend time with family. Okay. That's all I had on this, uh, trending social media topic on this Chrissy Teigen, honey, slow your roll, slow your roll, and enjoy life, baby. Okay, see y'all for something else trending out there in the social media newsworthy world. Bye!